What up, YouTube? It is your man Julio Greasy here yet again with another episode of Pokemon White Playthrough. This is my second day in a row doing recording, and like I said, we left off at that bridge. You saw that beautiful view. Um, if I recall, if you talk to this guy right here, he gives you a very useful item. He gives you a Quick Claw. Quick Claw is an item which you will give to Pokemon uh, to hold, and uh, it makes, sometimes it makes it go first. Or whatever. So here is just another reception gate, and then here is the ultimate 3D effect of Pokemon White and Black. It is the Sky Arrow Bridge, where you have to cross this to get to the the most populous city, the biggest city I think in all the Pokemon games. It's Castelia City, which is where the next gym is held, and you can see the graphics. Uh, you see all the trucks and stuff, but I don't know where the trucks come from or anything because you don't see any roads in Pokemon unless because all the routes that you take are fucking walking routes, not you know. Um, driver groups. And then you see the 3D, you see the boat. Hold up, I stopped. The boat still moves, look at that. Da, 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 da. And see, this bridge is a lot easier to get across with uh, a bike. The only sucky thing about this bridge is there's no trainers on the bridge, so like, it's kind of just like an, ex like, this is just to show off the, get the graphics of the game. It's not meant for any, like, thing important, which is, I mean, I thought it was kind of stupid because, like, I wish to battle some of those people on there, but I mean, whatever, you know? And then you go down here. Then you go. What does this bitch say? I walk up. Oh, don't cry me a river, bitch. And here we enter the the largest city, and I think in any Pokemon game, Castelia City. If you go down this dock, I believe that if you talk to this old guy, he will give you a monk. He will give you a stone, depending on. Uh, no, this is a scientist, dude, right? Pants, a pants, and pamphlet, like whatever one that you chose. He, he'll ask you which one you choose, and he'll give you a stone according to which one you choose, because the stones are used to evolve the monkeys. Um, in this episode, Castellia City is a very big city, um, but in this episode, I actually just want to do one part of Castellia City, and that's not take on the gym later. It's actually this building, the Battle Company. The Battle Company is a building with a whole bunch of trainers, and you battle them, and you first this guy at the end. People who work in the building of Pokemon battles, not opinion bottle. You appear to be strong, but if you go upstairs, please be extra careful. So basically, this is kind of like a battle tower-esque, but the thing is you can heal up and use items and stuff like that. It's basically good for experience, and at the very end, you get an item that's very useful when you're training up low-level Pokemon. Um, so we're going to start at the 47th floor. Yeah, this building is huge. And we're just going to start bursting these trainers. Uh, this episode may be long. I don't know how fast the battles are going to be. Um... As of right now, it's two minutes in, I don't, and then, uh, the next episode, we will definitely take on the gym leader, I'm gonna do, um, some, maybe some off-screen training if I need it, because I did some off-screen training like I said I was going to, as you can tell, Wardy's level 22, as well as all my other Pokemon, so that's good, now let's see if I can take this guy, I'm gonna use Bubble Beam, that did nothing, that did a shit ton of, oh, what the fuck, man, Um, I can't take another one of those hits. See, this is why I hate Party here, because they're so strong compared to, like, if you're not evolved or anything, they still do shit ton of damage, and especially takedown. Aha, I admit you missed, bitch. And let me just on throw this thing with my poor chop. As you can see, poor chop's still the same level. I got everyone up to poor chop's level, just because of the fact, you know, because, you know. So, as you can see, we're a little over-leveled, but I mean, it's good to be over-leveled, because, you know, never, let's talk about this guy, oh, company, Tori, season poke, he gives you quick balls, which are used at the beginning of battles, um, and, uh, they give you, it's more likely to catch, and time of balls are for the longer battle goes, with the wild Pokemon, the more likely you are to catch them, alright, stop with this dildo, bitch. Yeah, I'm pleased to meet you. Please allow me to introduce you to my Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. So this is just a really good place to get experience. Uh, I like how they did this just because there's, like, there's some trainers around in the city. But, I mean, you know, it's whatever. Or he's still a little hurt from the hurt, 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 hurt. Uh-oh, he's using by. That's not good. Um, I'm going to use Super Sonic. So you can get confused a little, a little bit. And it missed. Oh god. Um. I'm um, gonna bubble beam. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. And it fucking killed me. And this is why I hate Bide. Bide is such a stupid move. Or he died. Ugh. 
I don't have revives or anything either. So, I'm just, am I gonna heal up? You know what? Fuck. Fuck him. I'm not gonna heal up. <sighs> Bitch, you're dead. Wardy's just gonna li uh, miss out on some experience. I mean, Wardy's not even gonna be used in the next gym battle because, like I said, it's a bug, like, grass type gym. So, it's just, like, he's not gonna be of any use. He doesn't know any moves or at least good against them. So, it's basically gonna be poor chop in uh, Valentine's role. So, let's see. She sends out a pedal in. I think this girl has pedal in and caught me. Uh, just from previous experience. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I know, you guys are probably like, oh my god, you're so cool to me. Um, Woody. I mean, he died. It's not my fault. Bide is just a stupid move. I, he missed his, his supersonic, even though it has 55 accuracy. I'm not going to blame him. Actually, I am going to blame him. It's all his fault. He did. He, it was all his fault. But I mean, you know. Look at that swag. Give me my money. Give it his Pokeball. Ooh, a revive. You know what? I'm actually going to use that revive right now because I don't feel like walking all the way back to the Pokemon Center because that's such a hassle. So I'm going to revive my Wardy. Yeah, I used my last revive. It's whatever. And I'm going to use a Super Potion too. Why not? I can always stock up. I'm going to stock up before the gym battle anyway. Um, <laughs> this guy has like, I think he has three Basculins. One that's, uh, exclusive to... No, they're not exclusive, they're just, like, you know, they're different colors. In black, you have, like, the red stripe one, and then in this, you have the blue stripe one, or is it vice versa? Because I don't remember. Alright, we have... White has the white stripe one most commonly, but if you step in, like, a puddle thing, in, like, the thing, it's... It's stupid how they did that. I'm just gonna go with the mud shot. <laughs> He's gonna use a water-type move. That did, actually, a pretty decent amount. In the face. That did nothing. Alright, I'm just gonna supersonic it. Just to... Oh, man. Ow. Come on, don't miss your supersonic. You need to hit it. Thank you. It's weird is that every single time you fucking went in, like, a cave in, like, the first... The previous generations, a Zubat you supersonic all the time always hit you. And and then you'd always hurt yourself, too. That's why caves were so annoying back then. But, I mean, now I can't even hit, like, one supersonic. But, you know, it's whatever. Mm. He snapped at it. You fucking kidding me. This fight is really annoying because I don't have an electric type move or anything like that, so. Oh shit. I'm faster than it. Unless it used like Aqua Jump and wouldn't have done anything. Please kill it. Yep, okay. See, I just revived you already and you almost just died on me. You piece of dick. Level 23. He wants to learn Uproar. Is that better than Round? I don't even know what Round is. It does 60. You can join in on the round. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of up round because uproar seems a lot better. Uproar, but It's about to send out another bass and I'm gonna switch into pork chop. If you're wondering, what if I pork chop? Eh, pork chop's just awesome, that's why. Pork chops, that's gonna know bite, that's why I don't wanna send in uh, a warty. So I'm just gonna use some arm thrusts. Why would you bite my fighting type? See, these guys are stupid. Crit. Mm. You know what was annoying in, in third gen? Carvana was the, the fish type in that. Um, and it was a dark type, so fighting was super effective, but the thing is it had rough skin, so like, if I used arm thrust on it, I'd take like a lot of damage just from arm thrusting it. That's why you'd have to like use like a one turn move that would kill it in one shot so the rough skin would only do one dose of damage instead of continuing damage, you know? Stop chipping away at me. Thrust it. Thrust it. Thrust it. I'm thrusting into a fish, it seems really good. Don't flinch me, don't flinch me, don't flinch me, good. Pimper has the flinch act. Shut my dogs are barking. If you guys actually watch some, some of my videos, you can hear in some videos my dogs bark. And the thing is, my dogs are like really, really stupid, you know? When, when I roll out, um... You know what, I'll forget tackle for roll out. Uh, but my dogs are really stupid. Like they bark at like the slightest noise too. And like they bark at people they see all the time. Like they're really stupid in that sense. Like I'm, and 
And I actually went, when, like I said, when I went on vacation, I'm switching just Valentine up front. When I went on vacation, well, I came, it was for a week, and like, they didn't, they didn't care. This guy gives you a scope lens. Uh, they didn't care. Like, when I came back, they, they, they acted like I wasn't even gone. And then if I'm gone for like 10 seconds, they, they fucking, you know, freak out. They're just like, <laughs> and I'm just like, guys, I was here the entire time, you know? What the fuck? You know, this episode is actually going to be a longer episode than I thought it was going to be because of the fact that, you know, these battles take a long ass time, especially without a speed up button. So, let's see. I'm going to go with Confusion. An X special. You got to be fucking kidding me. Alright. I'm going to use Physical now because he just used that. Yeah, Flinch. Oh, yeah, Flinch X. Oh yeah, dead. Crit. Oh, that was good. Valentine, you are my Valentine. My Valentine. Alright, so that's the 47th floor. When you go up here, though, it gets a little harder. Because you have what what they call the boss. The last guy down there. That old janitor-looking dude. Um, there's some more trainers here, too. See, look at this item that's pretty well... Ooh, a hyper potion. So yeah... When you find start finding higher level potions, that means that your Pokemon should be around the level where, like, you know, you can start, like, doing things. Like, you have a lot more HP and everything. Ugh. Who's this guy have? His name's Ivan. He has a Woobat. Ooh, some Woobat on Woobat action. Ooh, level 20. Oh, shit. Yeah, so see? Like I said, we're about on par. But, uh, after... After this episode... I'm gonna do some more off-screen training um, because of the fact that I I need to be super like I need to be a higher level than the gym leader. I don't even recall what level the gym leaders are, and that's why I'm like seeing these Pokemon around my level. I'm scared. Ooh, he to level 23. Oh yeah. All right. I know this girl has a Muna because I remember I had a Muna the first time I played this game, and she knows the mo her Muna knows in prison. So my Muna did, had no, no moves whatsoever, and it was annoying as hell. It was probably the most annoying thing. It was basically a stall out, and um, yeah, it was it was bad. Forward. I don't even know what forward does. Does it like reduce the damage? <sighs> I hate these scientist guys because they always use like the X items on them. So it's like you know they, they do more damage or take more damage or something. It's just stupid. I'm just using assurance. You would use Moonlight, you piece of shit. Yeah. Alright. Um, if he uses Moonlight again, I swear to God, I don't rage quit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Man. Moonlight, I hate when they stall out like this. Like, honestly, it's the most useless thing because they don't have any status on me. And they're just... The only thing they're doing is annoying the fuck out of me. They're not doing any damage to me, so... Oh my god, hypnosis. Oh my... <sighs> See, I told you this, Muna is one of the most annoying Pokemon in this game because of the fact that it knows that I'm just gonna use an Awakening because I'm not dealing with this bullshit. It's gonna use Moonlight again, I bet you anything. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Honestly. Ugh. Ugh, this is so annoying. See, this is why I said this episode was gonna be longer because of the fact that this stupid shit is gonna happen. I'm just gonna use Air Cutter, see if it does no damage. It does no damage whatsoever. So I'm just going to use the shine still. It's not going to kill it. If it uses Moonlight again, I swear to God. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm getting so mad right now. This is so... I hate healing moves like that. Like, I honestly do. I never try to... I never use healing moves because I just use potions and shit like that. Yeah, I would have noticed that this bitch is dead now. Good. God fucking man. This took too much long, longer than I needed to take. Really that the real one. Beat Samantha. I fucking hate you, Samantha. I'm gonna go rape the shit out of you. I'm kidding. Rape is not funny. Alright. Um. Battle this scientist guy. Oh, it's really small. These guys are. They have really creepy music with these guys. I think it's because, you know, they're kind of creepy. I mean, scientists are weird people. He has a Sawaddle, which is that stupid bug. Good thing I have my Valentine up front. Be my Valentine. Lovey dovey, nubby, mummy, nubby. I'm gonna use air cutter four times super. Use a dire hit to raise its critical strike, but I hit it with that, it's dead. If it, if it lives this, I would give it credit, but nah, it's dead. Give me that experience. 
Haha, <laughs> Steve, you suck. I know Steve. He's from Long Island. I'm kidding, I don't. It's a joke. Alright, so there's this one more dude right before I burst the guy who met us in the lobby down there. He said that there's some battles up here. His name's Wade. He has all the monkeys. He sends out the fire monkey first. That's good. I, I have something that counted the fire monkey, but I mean, whatever. Alright, I'm gonna use confusion! Dead, buddy. Oh, he's not dead. He's gonna burn. He's gonna. Oh, no, I'm holding a berry. He's gonna burn the berry. Yeah, see? Oh, that sucks. See, the move incinerate uh, destroys berries that per someone's holding. Oh, no. Oh, God. That scared the fuck out of me. Oh, these monkeys no bite. That's scary. Alright. Oh. He's about to send in Pan Pour, which is the water one. I'm gonna send out. No, I'm gonna have to stay out. I'm gonna have to heal up though. I'm gonna have to see I should have bought the potion before this. I'm gonna use the fresh water that we got from that dude. Yeah, get some water, bro. Alright. Um I'm gonna use some more confusion. Oh yeah. Fury slice. Fury slice is just a move that's really annoying. It's like double slap and stuff like that. But what you know what I don't get about double slap? Double slap is double slap. I mean, double kick only hits twice. Triple kick hits one to three times, I think. And, 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 but fucking double slap hits two to five times. I don't get that. Double slap should hit twice. If they need to boost the, the power of double slap so that it hits only twice, but it does a significant amount of damage, do that. But I mean, double slap is such a stupid move because it's called double slap for a reason. It's supposed to hit twice, not more than twice. Man, you should you should write a letter to, to, to Game Freak and be like, Yo, fix Double Slap, it's, it needs, needs nerf. This battle is taking, taking way too long, man. 294. Alright, now we gotta verse the... This is going on like 20 minutes. This is a, a long-ass episode. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, you face the page as the chairman. So apparently he's the chairman, but he's dressed as the janitor. I don't get why a chairman would dress like a janitor. At least the last dude looked like a business dude. So he's sending out a Trubbish, which is a poison type Pokemon. Um, I haven't seen this. Uh, I think you can get it in the next. No, not the next route. Uh, you have to get it. I think there's a route after the fourth gym. You can get it. But I just use Confusion. Super effective. It sends out Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes is when I, if I switch out, uh, my next Pokemon will be poisoned, which is really annoying. But I mean, whatever. Killed it with ease. Go to level 24. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's about to send out Minchino. Minchino is a normal type. I'm going to actually switch out into Porkchop, even though I'm going to get poisoned. But I just want to end this as fast as possible, because this is going on way too long. Longer than I thought it was going to. So Minchino is a normal type. Um, it, it has an ability which makes its weaker moves stronger. Uh, see, this is double slap. It hits me more than... See, it boosts the attack of weaker powered moves. That's its ability. Ugh, I'm gonna die to poison, aren't I, if I don't kill it. Ugh. Kill it, kill it. Yes. GG, hater. This guy was actually pretty easy, as long as he had, like, a fighting type or psychic type. It was pretty easy. His name's Geoff. Oh, I really cleaned up. You get it? Because he's a janitor. Alright, I disguise myself as a janitor, blah, 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 and he gives you the experience share. The experience share is an item which you give to a Pokemon, and when it holds it, it shares the experience of the battle. So it's really good for leveling up weak Pokemon, and since I'm poisoned, in old games you used to take poison outside of battle. In this generation, you don't take poison outside of battle. And so that means you can't die, if po your Pokemon can't die of poison. The only time that they get it, the damage from it is in battle. So thank you guys for watching this. This has been a really long episode, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to... Um, in the next episode, we're going to explore Castilia City a little more, uh, take on some, some people that are, you know, really, who's this bitch? Oh, she's talking about Geonet, uh, blah, 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 yeah, whatever, she, she says Geonet, that's something with Wi-Fi and stuff. So, uh, next episode, we're just going to explore Castilia City some more, going to run into some people that we've seen before, and maybe take on some dudes that can dance. Alright, so see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Uh, share this as much as you can. Grease out.